You know you're not supposed to, but every parent yells at their kids once in a while, right? Some of us actually more than once in a while. Well, family therapist Arden Greenspan Goldberg is here to tell us how to cut down on the yelling and how you make amends with your kids if you do raise your voice. Hi, Arden. Hey, good morning. I mean, I'm the first to admit that I'm, I'm one of these sort of hot-blooded people, uh -huh. hot head, uh -huh. bad temper. So uh -huh. I do yell, and and right. I wish I didn't because right. I, I do think that it's not a great thing. Why yeah. do parents yell? I think parents imitate what has been done to them. If you, mm. I don't know if you come from a yeller kind of mom or dad. I came from a a yelling mother. So we replicate that to some degree, except I stopped myself. I drew the line and I said, I don't want to be that kind of parent and I don't want to create children that yell at me because mm. that's what happened. We create we create generations of yellers. It's funny because I don't see, I can't see you as a yeller. Well, I'm not a yeller. Yeah. Now, my mother was a yeller and I said to myself, I don't want to go there. Mm. I don't want to be like her. And I, I said to you a little while ago, I use a tool on myself if I feel my blood curdling a little bit, and especially when my kids were young, I do this. And what is that? That's a small voice, it's a quiet voice. And I calm myself down and I taught my children that skill as well. Wait, so you would actually hold your thumb I'd and your forefinger? Small, this, is, this is small voice, And is this for you voice. or for the child? Both, mm -hmm. both. And then it kind of takes it down a few levels. Renee, it doesn't work, it didn't work all the time, especially when the kids were at each other. When they were at each other, I'd call in the artillery. I'd call in Larry, my mm. husband. Mm. And he would raise his voice, because he wasn't someone that would raise his voice that often, but mm. he would say something like, enough, stop, but in a respectful way. And then we would talk afterwards and, and say there's no reason for, let's say, hitting or yelling or raising one's voice. We want, uh, you know, a climate of respect and an even playing field. And that's really what you want, basically. I feel like the, the reason this is so bad is and, and because now I hear my own children. And, you mm. know, when, when, when they're younger and you'll say something, just, I don't know, whatever you say, the sky is blue. Then you hear it parroted yes. out of their mouth. It's yes. the same with behavior. That's they right. parrot your behavior. That's right. And does that make you feel good? No. <laughs> I mean, I'm having a therapy session here. You guys just <laughs> um, talk amongst yourselves <laughs> while I talk to the therapist. No, but you're, you're absolutely you, right. It's you, tough. You want to be a benevolent, kind, author uh, not an authoritative figure. You don't want to, you want to be authoritative. You don't want to be an authoritarian. You don't want to be autocratic. You want your children to see you as approachable, and you want to be kind and warm. But of course, there are moments where we lose our top, especially if our children are being particularly difficult. Mm -hmm. And there are times where once in a while, you're right, I don't raise my voice, but every so often, I think when I've had enough, you know, if my daughter is really at me and I say, enough. You say that it's very important to apologize. And I, I you know oh, what, yes, I do nice. do that yeah, yeah. and I do a lot of it. Good and when you. I apologize, it's a, a heartfelt, I'm really sorry that, you know, I was wrong or mommy blew her top or, or whatever. And why is that important? Very good. Well, we're letting our children know that we're human, that we make mistakes. And we're role modeling that behavior for them as well. They could make mistakes and they could say they're sorry as well, but we're also doing what our President Obama says we need to do, be responsible for what we put out there and that we have an impact and we could do something about it and we could really make a difference. And it's a real, I can do, you can do, yes we can. Yeah, and you say different tools for different children, that's important too. Absolutely. I'm gonna try this still small, I'm gonna try that today still because trust voice. me, something will come up. All right, listen, <laughs> I'll, I'll pay you later. Ah, oh, you're so <laughs> sweet, thanks. If you have a question for Arden, you can email her at inquire at askarden.com or check out her website, askarden.com. And for all you good enough mothers out there with a story about yelling, please, I want to hear it. Come join my social networking site at goodenoughmother.ning.com and you can also get there by going to goodenoughmother.com. Thanks for watching Parents TV. I'll see you soon.